a relatively new member to the Arduino family is the Arduino 101. It is Intel Curie based microcontroller with built in Bluetooth, LE, gyroscope, and accelerometer. It is supported both by the Arduino ID and Visuino, and since it has Bluetooth, it is a good candidate to communicate with it from Delphi program mobile devices. We will start new Visuino project. Select Arduino 101 as board. Expand the modules, Bluetooth, and set a local name. Any relatively short name is a good one. Next, we'll add a Bluetooth service. And we'll connect it to the input of the Bluetooth module on the Arduino. Then we'll add two analog characteristics. We'll send the temperature to the first characteristic and we will use the second one to control a servo. For this, we need to add a servo component. Our servo will be connected to digital pin 2 and will be controlled by the characteristic. The project is ready and now we can generate the Arduino code. We will select the board type as Arduino 101 and the COM port. Then compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. Now let's take a look at the FireMonkey Delphi application that can control our Arduino through Bluetooth. We'll use the standard Delphi Bluetooth LE component. We will also add a timer, label, and a trackbar. We'll set the min and max of the trackbar to 0 and 1000. We'll disable the timer, enable the Bluetooth. The first thing we will need in the code is definitions for the ID of our service, temperature, and servo characteristics. Visuino generates IDs for the service and characteristics automatically when you add new service or characteristic, so we can copy and paste them. I have already done that. The next task is to discover the Bluetooth devices when the form is created. In the on end discover devices event of the Bluetooth component, we will iterate through the devices, force the services to be discovered, check if our service is available. If it is available, this obviously is our device. We'll assign it to a member variable. We'll enable the timer. Use this special trick to force the characteristics to be discovered. Obtain the temperature and the servo characteristics and also assign them to member variables for later usage. On timer, we will use a special flag to indicate if we are sending. If we are not, we will read the temperature. And on characteristic read, we will assign the obtained temperature to the text of the label. If the track bar is changed, we will set another flag indicating that it is changed. And in our timer event handler, if the track bar was changed, we'll send the new position normalized to the server and we'll set the sending flag to true and clear the change flag. Finally, in the Bluetooth on characteristic right, we'll simply clear the sending flag 
indicating that we have completed sending the characteristic. Now we can compile and run the application on our device. You can see the temperature displayed here in the label and if we move the trackbar the servo will follow the movement.